There it is, Ben, all there. A settlement Nancy will grab in a minute. It's almost twice the original offer. Staggering, isn't it, huh? But as soon as we get her signature on that document, it means no more malpractice suit, and Kingsley General is in the clear. You'll be home free, Ben. As soon as I drop a copy for you and you sign it, you'll be in the clear. Yeah, do we have to keep gabbing about it? Let's just do it. Sure. I'll get on it right away. Good move, Ben. This is best for all of us. Come on, Amber, give me that famous Philip smile, will you? I can do without the coaching, Tony. Oh, yeah? I'm on my second roll of film, baby. You haven't made love to my camera once. Well, how can you expect me to in this tent that you call a dress? It's hardly silk and satin. Okay, baby, take five. Pull yourself together. That's the problem, Tony. I expected you to be in your fifth change by now, at least. Talk to her about it. Problems? I think we'd be better off if we just got another girl for this one. Oh, nothing doing. Barclay maternity wear wants the best, and she's it. Let's get some shots up with my little friend here. Fantastic. Maybe we can get somewhere. Amber, <laughs> let's go. Back to work. Miss Phillips, here's your partner. Maybe she can help get you in the mood. Look, I'd rather not. You don't have a choice. Now you are to be American motherhood personified. Here, hold her. No. Take that kid away. I'm telling you, Ben, you're doing the right thing. Settling your malpractice suit out of court is going to save your practice. And keep us off the front pages. I mean, we're all in this together, aren't we? Right, and you're going to get out of it together. Yes. When can you have his statement drawn up? I have it on your desk first thing tomorrow morning. Oh, good. Well, I'll shoot it right over to the hospital's attorneys, and then we meet with Myers in the afternoon. Afternoon it is. Tomorrow night, Ben's going to be sleeping with a clear conscience. My conscience doesn't need clearing, Doug. I'm not guilty of anything. Of course, Ben, I didn't mean it that way. We, we both know that you saved Nancy Lawson's life. Do you? Life. Do you? Now listen, the only reason I'm agreeing to this settlement is because I'm fed up. I don't want any more adverse publicity for the clinic. I want everything kept quiet. So do we, except for a public statement on your part. Statement? What are you talking about? Well, an exoneration of the hospital, that you operated on Nancy without our permission. The Kingsley Times already printed that fact once, remember? I want it emphasized, a public apology. Now you wait a minute. I agreed to this settlement on the condition that everything would be kept quiet, Doug. Look, Ben, what is the big deal? What's the problem? Don't get us so upset. What difference does it make? I mean, just as long as we close the books on this case, right? Yes, with me taking the blame. You're wrong. Face it, Ben, you're the one who started all this. Why should the hospital carry the whole blame? Well, it never has, Lester. Gentlemen, why are we quibbling over a minor detail? I mean, the point is we've got to settle this thing out of court, Out right? of court to me means out of the newspaper. I'm not going to make an apology for something I don't feel was wrong to begin with. He must agree to the apology. I will not have it any other way. Weren't you briefed, Miss Phillips? The line of clothing you're wearing is for before and after the birth. So what? So that's how we get the point across, with a baby in your arms. Well, can't we do this some other way? Afraid not. Here, take her. She's a doll. I, I've never really liked working with children. Oh, I, I'm really, I'm really very uncomfortable. You'd never know. You look perfectly natural, mother and daughter. Look this way, Amber. Yes, I'd like to make an appointment, please, to talk to someone. About an abortion? A little more of the baby in this next frame, Amber. Hold her closer to you. Closer. A cuddle. As if it were your own. That's it. Don't move. With the kid, I thought we might have a chance. We never had a chance for anything. Then why did you let me believe that we would? Never mind. I know why. Do you? Revenge. Pure and simple. Do you ever feel guilty for anything that you do? You're right. I do feel responsible for the baby as a grandparent. But beyond that, 
What you're contemplating is murder. Stop it! I don't want to hear this! I can't go on. Oh, take her. Miss Phillips, what's, what's the problem? I'm sorry, I just can't. Ms. I Phillips. can't finish this. Miss Phillips! Amber! I'm sorry, but if I would have known this was part of the deal, I wouldn't have agreed to come here. Lester, there's no way in the world I make a public apology to this hospital. That's the least you owe this hospital, Dr. Martin. The experimental what surgery you performed... Repairing her vocal cords was not an experiment. Well, you can hardly call it routine. Why do you think she's suing us? Look, gentlemen, gentlemen, please, we're here to form Nancy a united Lawson front. is the only victim in this case. This Victor, hospital... What are you talking about, Lester? Come on, get off it. Now, Dr. Crenshaw is an expert laryngologist. I saw his report. He's interested in the procedure I use for crying out loud. That's beside the point. Look, gentlemen, gentlemen, can we please get back to business? Ben, contact your insurance company. Tell them that you want to pay off Nancy, please. And give the Times and the Chronicle a call. I'll be glad to write your apology for you if you find yourself at a loss for words. I'll tell you what I'm at a loss for. I'm at a loss for patience with you. Be reasonable, Ben. I'm trying to help you out. Oh, so you're trying to do me a favor, huh? Yes, exactly. Like getting you admitting privileges back at this hospital. You know, in time, as soon as this thing uh, calms down, we'll see what we can do about it. Ben, that's not such a bad offer. You mean a payoff, like we're giving Nancy, right, Lester? What is more important to you, your precious principles or your practice? I am not choosing between them. I am choosing between the truth and a lie. Any malpractice on my part is a lie. Look, may I make a suggestion? There you go, deciding on your own now who's lying and who's telling the truth. Well, since you're as confused as Nancy and Dan Myers, yes, I have to decide. Look, I've got a solution I for both of us. I almost had to have you thrown out of this hospital by security one time because you insisted on examining Nancy in violation of all our rules. Are you going to sick security on me again? You might as well, because you won't get an apology from me. Look, gentlemen, two. Two apologies. Two public apologies. Lester, you make one to Ben. Ben, you make one to Lester. That's absurd. This settlement's absurd. The whole deal is. Ben, wait. Forget it. Now, I thought this was going to be the easy way out. Obviously, it's not. Doug, you just tell Nancy I'll see her in court after all. Lester, why did you have to push that apology bit? You finally had Ben on your side. Apparently, he really wasn't. Stacy told me everything, Gil. Did she? Listen, before you get started, uh, I've already heard it all. Oh, have you really? Yes, in your last lecture. Leave her alone. She's already been through the ringer once. But that's only half of it. Look, can I be straight with you? Do you think that's possible? We never know when you're telling the truth, do we? I love Stacy. That's the truth. Well, you sure have a unique way of showing it, breaking her heart. I didn't mean for that to happen. That's no excuse. Look, I got thrown a ring or two, you know. The only reason I went back to Amber was because of what you said. I started loving that child, and then she went off behind my back and had an abortion. I'm not holding you responsible for what Amber did. We're talking about Stacy now. If everyone would just leave us alone and let us live our own lives, we'd get along just fine. You're confusing her, Gil. It's too soon. Don't you realize what she's going through? Yes, I do, and that's why she needs me now. What she needs is time to clear her head, not to jump back into a relationship with you. Look, you might find this hard to believe, but what we had was real. It was genuine. Gil, she's still naive in many ways beyond that perception and that intelligence. There's a sensitivity that you almost killed. But I didn't. That sensitivity and innocence was brought out because of my love. Am I the only one that can see that? Well, it's obvious that she changed because of you. I never wanted to be responsible for anybody but myself until I met Stacy. I love her more than I love myself. Do you know what that feels like? Yes, I do. To want more for someone else than you do for yourself? I never knew that until I met Stacy. And I'm not about to lose it. Are you sure you mean this? Yes. She changed me. Enough for you to marry her? Yeah, I would like to make her my wife. In time. In time? Exactly what is that supposed to mean? I don't want to push her into anything. I've been pushed enough myself. You mean, uh, as an Amber? When I suggested you marry her, you called it a shotgun wedding. Well, that's the way you came across to me. I mean, with the kid and everything. But I didn't really love Amber. Oh, and you do, Stacy? Yes. 
Don't you realize that if she believed that, that she'd want to marry you? That remains to be seen. She doesn't even want to talk to me now. Look, all I'm saying is that have you even thought about what you've said to her? Everything I've said, I've meant. For the present and the future? That doesn't make any difference to me. I just wanted to let her know that I love her. Oh, and the commitment to her maybe would come later. Yes, I love her. That's all that matters. At least that's all that matters to me. Well, that's all that matters to her, too. She loves you, Gil. She hasn't said it, but I know it. Do you really believe that? Yes, I do, even though she hasn't admitted it to herself. But I'm worried about her. Don't hurt her, Gil. She's too fragile. That's not my intention. And I think you know that now. Well, you said you cared more for her than you did yourself. Yes. Well, then don't promise her something that you're not ready for. Well, I wasn't getting anywhere with Lockwood. He just kept referring me to all the evidence that he uh, presented against Dave to the grand jury. What are you writing? Writing? Yeah, that uh, note there. What is that piece of paper? Oh, oh, it's just a note. That's all. Yeah, to me? Who called? Uh, nobody. Nobody. As a matter of fact, it's been very quiet. Oh, why are you writing notes then? Oh, no, it was just a little note to myself. You know, it was just something kind of important that I wanted to remember. And, well, you know how my memory is. No, I always thought you had a memory like an elephant. Well, I did, but I forgot. So what about this D.A. Lockwood? Do you really think he's out for blood? Yeah, as sure as I'm sitting here. The man's got a political career on the back burner. Can't wait to move it up to the front. Well, he doesn't mind burning Dave in the process, huh? He couldn't ask for a better opportunity. What a crook. No, Babs, there's nothing shady about this man. It's just that the newspapers apparently have, uh, and the other media, have decided to have a heyday with Dave's trial. I guess they can't help it with Carruthers popping into court. You know, if it were me, I would have arrested him for his wife's murder. Man's got an alibi. Oh, come on. Up at dawn with the cows in Perryville? I don't believe that. Well, you better start believing it. WRD's got it all on videotape. Lee Carruthers hunkering down with all the dairy farmers. Really? Yeah. Well, I hope he loses the election anyway. Don't you count on that either. By a landslide. Hey, I'm sorry. Let me have my desk back. I got some work to do. Now? Yeah, I really, I got a whole lot of work I got to get done. Well, look here, why, why don't you just kind of take a break? No, I don't need one. Well, let me be the judge of that. I don't think so. Thank you. Just uh, please, uh, can I have my chair back? You're sitting in my chair. Okay, you don't have to be so possessive. Uh, why are you giving me a hard time? I'm not, honest. Well, then can I please have my desk back? I got a lot of research work I got to do, and I need my books. Well, I wouldn't start something like that right now. You I mean... wouldn't, I would. Babs, I want my desk. Okay, Harold, whatever you want. Thank you. So give me 200 years, I don't think I'd ever be able to figure you out. Just all part of my charm, Harold, you know, the mysteries of a woman. Babs? Yes, Harold? Could you give me a little breathing room, please? Oh, I'll get that. What took you so long? Sorry, Babs, the band broke down. So did you tell Mom everything? <laughs> <laughs> Just about us breaking up. I didn't yeah. say how. Boy, I tell you what, if you told Mom that you and Vicky were eloping, I really think she'd pass out. Seriously. Like, think. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't tell her. I didn't want to lay it all out at once. I just thought after we got married, see, it would be a little bit easier for her to take the shock. Yeah. Well, so much for that, huh? Yeah. Hey, do you realize I would have been married right now? Yeah, but to a woman who didn't love you. Peter, it was really right of Vicky to tell you the truth before you made those vows. I knew you'd say that. I bet this is the best news you've heard all day, isn't it? Oh, come on, Peter. You know, that's not true. I really am sorry for you. I really am. I know how much you must be hurting inside. Hey, I roll with the punches, right? Hey. I never could keep a girl in my arm. You're just making it worse talking that way. How can I make it worse? She left me, Lori. She gave me my ring back. Look, I know you feel betrayed, but she did the right thing. Betrayal's an excellent word. Oh, you should have seen me at the Justice of the Peace with his wife. Oh, it's a classic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Peter. Peter, do you remember when I broke up with the Russ? It was the same. I mean, I thought it was the end of the world. Totally. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Gone. Mm -hmm. But it was. 
present. God gave me a much more special person. And he's going to bring you the right girl. No. I don't want to see any girls for a long time. I'm not going to hold you I'm to that. I'm serious. I don't. She had me thinking that I'm so special to her. You are special to her. Yeah, but not special enough to marry. How'd she put it? You're the greatest guy I've ever known, but I don't love you. <laughs> I don't love you. Hey, little brother. You'd be glad that she told you now, instead of later. I told everybody we're getting married. I even got that job at the Chronicle so we could... I know, I know. Hey, hey, why don't you relax and just hang out here for a few days? I'd love it. I wouldn't mind. <laughs> Nothing. Really? And Ben wouldn't mind. And Scotty would love it. He would love to see his uncle once in a while. Oh, yeah? he tell you that? Hey, mommies understand baby talk. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then you tell him thanks. No thanks. Oh. I gotta go. No, let me fix your lunch. I'll fix your lunch. No, I'm really going. Hey, okay, <laughs> smart guy. Listen, I'm not going to invite you to the next gourmet evening. Thank you. You reminded me of how Dad made us look at the world. Yeah? With your chin up? Because, you know, eventually everything does work out for the You'll have to sign for that, Mr. Webster. Uh, Bams, did you order something? Yeah, yeah, it's okay. Go ahead, sign for it. It's for you. It sure must be something mighty special. Bams, you wouldn't even tell me what's in it. But the other one that's coming uh, up Mom's is... still the word. Here you go. Wait a second. Here you go. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Signed, sealed, and delivered. Best of luck to you. Harold, aren't you going to open it? Well, I don't know if I should. Uh, you should. Go on, open it. What is uh, the occasion? It's your birthday, Harold. I know that. How did you? I found out. How? Would you stop with all the questions already and open the gift? Yeah. <laughs> well, it's okay to be a little rough with it. Oh, sure. Uh huh. I think I'm getting a hint. It's the old box within a box routine, huh? Keep going. You're getting warmer. Well, how's it coming? Phone! Oh. Now, what is this? Now, what does it look like? <laughs> this is from us to you, Harold. Oh, no. I, I don't think I can handle this. <laughs> you plan the cake, too? Well, with Ione's help. But she baked it, so it's going to taste great. Well, why don't you try it for yourself? Dig in. No, wait a minute. Where's the matches? I want oh, everything to be perfect. Okay, let's light this thing up here. Ooh, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Harold. Okay, make a wish and blow out the candle. Make a wish, huh? Yeah. Well, whatever your heart's desire. Yeah, I'd like to know what that is. Okay. Okay, here goes. Okay, what did you wish? Oh, no, he's not supposed to tell you. Oh, hush, I own. I just well, want to... Continue wanna the treasure hunt and open up the box. If I can get down to the last one, I mean, I don't know how many more I'm going to have to dig through to get to the last one. Oh, this feels like it might be there. <laughs> Happy birthday. You are the proud owner of your new personal monogrammed exercise bike. Yeah, as soon as he gets it up here, he's delivering it. He's bringing it up the back stairs right now. Yeah. Now nah, you're kidding me. No, she's not kidding. Really? Yeah. An exercise bike? Yeah. I love it. Yeah. Do you really? Yeah, I really do. Yeah. Oh, good. Oh, good. Yo, you come here. You. <laughs> An exercise. Uh-oh, I'm going to need it after all that cake. Oh. <laughs> oh, hi! Oh, hi, Peter. Oh, yeah. How are you? I'm just on my way out, so. Well, don't leave on my account. I mean, you're probably better company than I am right now. 
Not true. No. Hey, I love you. Love you too. Thank you. Okay, I'll Bye. call you. Bye, we'll see you. So, tell me how it went with Lester. Oh, not too well, I'm afraid. No? Are you fighting over how much the settlement's going to be out of court? I wish it were that simple. Do you know what he wants me to do? What? Make a public apology to the hospital. Why should you do that? <laughs> that's what I want to know. I mean, that's like adding insult to injury. I told Lester and Doug both that I just wouldn't do that. Well, I agree with you. The publicity would be terrible for the clinic. Exactly. That's the whole point of settling out of court, is to keep it quiet. Gosh. <sighs> well, <laughs> now that's out of the question. Are you ready for your day in court? I am ready to go with you and be with you wherever that is, Ben Martin. I wish I knew where that was. Because right now I could just walk away from this lawsuit, the clinic, my practice, all of it. I never come back. <laughs>